Today, by air, land and sea, Russia launched a major escalation in Syria to seize the military initiative from the United States. Russian warships fired dozens of missiles in support of the Assad dictatorship. Russian bombers hit rebels, some of them backed by the United States. The U.S. has been bombing Syria for a year, attacking the ISIS extremists. Holly Williams is covering. Russia says it launched 26 cruise missiles today from its warships on the Caspian Sea. They flew over 900 miles across Iran and Iraq, hitting parts of northern Syria, where both ISIS and al-Qaeda-linked fighters have a heavy presence. Russian President Vladimir Putin said the high-precision caliber missiles used for the first time reflected good preparation and training by his country's military. But the U.S. says Moscow's airstrikes in Syria are also targeting moderate American-backed rebels and that Russia's real goal in Syria is to prop up the regime. Protected by Russian air cover, regime troops began a ground offensive today in rebel strongholds. Opposition fighters hit back in some of the most intense fighting in several months. But after four years of bloody civil war, Russia's air campaign may be tipping the balance in favor of the Syrian regime. Russia's military buildup in Syria now also includes a battalion of ground troops, according to the U.S. ambassador to NATO. And, Scott, that is despite Russian assertions that it will not use ground troops in its operations inside Syria. And the U.S. said those Russian troops are equipped with their top-of-the-line tanks and artillery. Holly Williams reporting from Istanbul tonight. Holly, thanks.